hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me on this video today today i'm going to be talking about how you can use natural honey to get rid of wounds that are refusing to heal so this is organic natural honey that was just tapped if you can see it's not in any processed bottle this is like very natural honey brought for me and I'll advise you that anytime you want to get honey, try to get it as natural as possible. Look out for where you can get natural honey. So this honey, like I said, is natural. Just a little bit is okay. If you have any wound that is refusing to heal, just take some honey like so and apply it on the spots where the wound is. I don't have a wound I will have shown you, but I have used this in the past and it has worked very well. You can use it for bronze, you can use it for bruises, you can use it for scars, you can use it for so many things. Honey is very, very good to treat wounds. Honey has been found to be effective in treating wounds so well. Like they use it for patients that had, that were suffering from wounds and leg ulcers. 80% of them fail to heal with conventional treatment. By the time they applied honey, it was gone totally. Many cases showed remarkable improvements following topical application of honey. So just applying honey on the wound like that, it will make it ill. So because wounds are sterile from the outset, by the time you apply honey, the wounds and the ulcers become sterile within one week of applying the honey. For treatment of bones, for wounds, apply honey directly on the dressing like every 24 hours or once in 24 hours. Use it directly on the skin, on the wound that has refused to heal. Then you can cover it with a sterilized gauze or a bandage or any other kind of dressing. So the honey serves like the ointment you are putting on the wound. Then you cover it with a bandage or a sterilized gauze. It's been discovered that it will help you to clear the wound. And the best part of it is that when that wound is even forming a scar, the honey will help you to get rid of the scar and there will be no scar visible on that spot again. Other things you can use honey for is honey is vitamin rich. It's very rich for you for your calories and it even helps to stabilize white blood cell counts. So for those that they've been noted to have low white blood cell counts, by the time you consume more honey, like taking two teaspoons of honey daily will help you to reach your potential of your white blood cell count. Honey also helps to relieve seasonal allergies. People that have allergies like cough, like hay fever, if you take a lot of honey. It's said because honey contains traces of flower pulling, it counter affects the allergies that you might be having. So the best thing for you is to take at least one teaspoon of honey every night. Honey also kills antibiotic resistant bacteria. So for those that have bacteria in their body and they are trying to get rid of it, consuming at least one teaspoon to one tablespoon of honey every day will help to kill all the antibiotic resistant bacteria. You can use it for skin issues, for dandruff, and for those that even have cold cough, for children especially, it helps in nighttime cough. So if you've noted that your child coughs from sleep most times, our advice is to give like a teaspoon of honey just before that child goes to bed. It's said that honey helps to calm nighttime coughs in children and it improves their sleep. So it helps to like balance sleep. It helps them to sleep very well. Pediatricians have recommended it that nighttime coughs due to simple colds can be relieved with just honey. So without taking a lot of medication, you can relieve this so like I said in for recap honey helps for cough it helps for allergies it helps to even like treat wounds very well any wound that has been resistant to healing apply honey and you'll see the difference so guys this is my tip and my video for you today if you enjoyed this video kindly give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share this video don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed and I will see you in subsequent ones stay safe bye